So, hi, I'm Frank Duran, and I'm sitting across from Jesse Lonergan, okay. the uh, the writer and artist of All Star and of the Dancer of Day series. Yeah. Um, so, can you explain All Star to people who don't know what it is? Uh, All Star is a coming of age story uh, set in rural Vermont with sort of baseball as like a backdrop. Um, it's about a, a high school superstar, uh, sort of coming to terms with who he is and um, what he gets as a result of being good at baseball. Um, so how do you pitch the comic book fans a baseball comic? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it can be a little, little difficult um, because a lot of people here don't like sports <laughs> at all. Um, but a few people do. Uh, and so I just sort of focus on the coming of age part yeah. um, and the, the drawing and stuff. Uh, I mean, I love baseball, so it's not really a problem for me. I was like, yeah. all right, I call it the baseball. Like, yeah, not? but it, it, yeah, it's definitely is something where there are people who, where you can talk about baseball and they'll be like, I don't know anything <laughs> about baseball. So you you have now finished it. You finished chapter eight. So yeah. when does it become collected? Uh, it'll be collected like spring of next year so spring of 2014 um, collected right now like I've been selling some of the minis but also just sort of like giving it to different people giving feedback uh, you know trying to make it as good as possible very cool um, so other than all-star you work on a dance or a day kind of thing can you speak to us about that um, not so daily anymore. Not so daily um, anymore. Yeah, once like 2012 ended, I kind of stopped doing daily. I just don't have the the time uh, yeah. to devote to it. Um, I still just do it for fun, just because I like drawing the characters and I enjoy drawing dancing. Um, but it's not that regular anymore. Are your stories more personal, or do you like to tell fiction? Okay. Like, I, I guess I definitely question. feel like uh, I tell fiction, and I sort of feel like my first three books, those were like the my very serious like this is how I see the world yeah. and sort of like the idea is like really trying to like get this world view like put down on paper um, and sort of like so with all my books it's like trying to take this like sort of simple maybe core idea and like with, with All Star it's taking this idea of like we all just we get what we're dealt you know in life and like you know some of us are good at sports and some of us are not good at sports and like you know some people are born rich and some people are born poor and like you're gonna get all these chances and some people get a lot more chances uh, than other people like I feel like some people they get like one chance and they botch it and, and that's it like and you can you can blow your chance by your six when you're 16 and maybe you only get one and then some people they get like infinite chances like you know, you can screw up for like a good 30 years and you'll be fine because you get a lot of chances yeah. for no real reason. Exactly. Uh, and sort of like trying to like get at that sort of idea of like that situation that I just see as like fundamental part of life is that some people get chances and some <laughs> people don't. Um, and not like trying to be bitter about it, but trying just trying to get it as like that sort of like coming to terms with it on the part of the main character. So is that um, your favorite part of All Star, putting that type of story together? Or what's your favorite part of making All Star? Um, I feel like being able, I, I feel like with, with All Star, I've been able to be much more successful at saying things clearly. Because I'm always trying to say something and sometimes <laughs> you just fail. And you're yeah. like, ah, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> um, and so I feel like I'm expressing it clearly, but I've just really enjoyed drawing it. Mm. Like, uh, I feel like the action, the baseball stuff has just been really fun to draw. That's cool. Uh, and what and so, has been your favorite character to draw of all the dancers you've drawn? Of all the dancers? Uh, I think my favorite drawing is of the Predator. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's my favorite drawing. Uh, I guess in terms of in, enjoying just drawing, like, Batman's always going to be my favorite character to draw. Because um, he's the best. Uh, he's Batman. He just looks awesome. That's what so. this podcast is about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Um, I mean, I like the Hulk, too. Yeah. I, like, I, like, I like drawing ripped clothes and just, like, this sort of giant, distorted figure. Uh, and why did you decide to make them dance? Like, what makes... what? Why superheroes and why dancing? Um... Well, you didn't do strictly superheroes. I saw. I love the Star Wars ones. I oh yeah, to make well, sure I mean, yeah, I'm like a big Star Wars fan. Like, I'm a Star Wars fan more than anything else. <laughs> uh, 
and I think it was just sort of like I, I like drawing superheroes, and I, I even like reading some superheroes, but I really can't really draw them too seriously. Um, like uh, I'm like one of the few people who I think who didn't like the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Yeah. Uh, mainly just because I was like, this is too serious. Like, and like for me, it's like when something gets and there are a lot of comics this way too. It's like very serious about this idea that like doesn't really hold up if you're going to be serious like in like the new bat the, the new superman movie i'd say like the same thing it's like you know superman if you're going to take it seriously like oops it's not much fun anymore like and i just didn't feel it was very fun and so like i just like really like the fun of superheroes and like a lot of my favorite comics are like the Spider-Man comics from the 1960s, which are like fun, and they have dance parties, yeah. and like they're always going to the coffee shop, and like now it's like he doesn't go to coffee shops. Yeah. He's too busy with his real serious life. Uh, so like, just really like having fun with the characters and like doing these it's so cool, big uh, distorted things. Now, what are you doing now that you've finished All Star? Are you do you have any plans for anything in the future? I have sort of two plans. Um, so like with us, as I was saying with like All Star and the other two books, like those were like my serious. <laughs> as I just as I just knocked seriousness, I'm yeah. talking about my own seriousness. <laughs> but I kind of feel like I'm done with that. Like, yeah. and I want to do more sort of purely fiction, sort of fantasy stuff. Um, and I have sort of two ideas. One is sort of like a, a rock and roll comic, which you might have seen some of, uh, called the Sex Sex, oh, which right, would just yeah. be like about the best rock and roll band of all time, like head and shoulders above anything else. Uh, <laughs> kind of like Death Clock and Metalocalypse where they're like this is the best band ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was watching some Metalocalypse in a, little, <laughs> in a less brutal, weird less way. Less brutal, weird way. And more like more like fame focused yeah. on like, you know, just the silly things. And I just love rock and roll and I love like rock and roll stories. <laughs> and so like I read like books on Led Zeppelin and mm. stuff. And like there is just this there's like just quotes that stick with you yeah. and it was like I was reading this book on Led Zeppelin and Jimmy Page was in a bad mood because his 16 year old girlfriend was being mean to his 14 year old girlfriend <laughs> and it's just like things like that that I just think of, that's so ridiculous yeah. like um, lends itself to a comic lends itself to a comic I feel and like and I think the structure of that will probably be like a web comic because I don't really feel like there's a big overall story. Yeah. Uh, but it's just like maybe one, two panels, however long it takes to say That'd my 16 year old cool. girlfriend is not as <laughs> being mean to my 14 year old girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Your girlfriend's like, what? What, <laughs> what did he just Which say? Which girlfriends? <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and then I think the other one's sort of more of a more of a book like mm. definitely a plot that's sort of like a supernatural western oh, um, nice. story uh, that I'm looking to do sort of a little more stripped down not so much dialogue um, cool. with you know vengeance from beyond the grave sort of story that's awesome um, and when can we can we expect those anytime or are those still like um, ideas gelling sex sex I would like to have stuff going up online sort of like starting a continuous process in like the next two months that's awesome um, within the next two months we'll see how it goes um, the, the western that would probably be longer okay. further away um, I probably wouldn't have like finished work until next year it's very cool because that involves like plotting and putting the story together and that yeah. takes a while for me a lot more serious work. a lot more serious and like making sure it works you know and getting the narrative down with the sex sex there's no narrative really so I feel like it's kind of ready to go <laughs> uh, I just need to do it yeah fully understandable um, so where can we find your stuff where can we find all star where can we find the dancer where... uh, like the blogs yeah where can, uh, where can we get them for people uh, listening dancer a day is that dancer a dot com uh all Star, I have it in a number of the stores around here, just the mini comics, but it'll be coming out through MBM uh, cool. in spring 2014. Uh, so it'll be on Amazon, it'll oh, be nice. bookstores. Can you get it on your Kindle, or is it going to be like one of those? Uh, the first, my first two books are available from Comixology, like my first book, Flower and Fade, 
And then my second book, Joan is Ott, you can get on Comixology. That's cool. Did, yeah. the, was it weird to see your comic going from like a full page to being like reading the Comixology where it goes panel to panel to panel to panel? Uh, it's, it's a little weird. The first book, not so much, because the first book has this very rigid panel structure, so it's like the, the six panel grid. Um, so it makes sense. Kind of like dun, dun, yeah, dun, 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 dun. yeah, and there wasn't much thought to the pages. With Jonah's eyes, it's a little stranger uh, because I definitely like was thinking pages. Cool. Like with this, it'll be. It'll be kind of strange. Yeah, it'll be kind of strange. But that'll be cool. That'd be cool. It'll yeah. be different. Um, so yeah. that'd be awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jesse, for Thanks, the interview. Sir. It's yeah. awesome to have you on again. Yeah, no Thanks. problem.